was Hello? raised on your voices. Yeah. What's that? It, this is so weird because we were raised on your voices. Are you saying we're old? Yeah. No. No, that's yeah. not what I mean. She's like, when we were eight, we used to listen to you guys all the time. It's that's so, so cool. weird being in the other room and hearing your voice and knowing I'm about to see you. You know what's kind of crazy, though? Like, we were both born and raised in Chicago, just like you guys were. Yeah. And everybody always asks us, how cool is it to be on Beat 96? You know, your voice, blah, blah. And we always say every single day, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It's our favorite radio station. So how cool is it for you guys growing up in the suburbs of Chicago, but yet hearing your songs playing right now on Beat 96? It's, well, we actually, because we're not in Chicago anymore, we get texts from our dad all the time because he's listening to B96 in his car. Thank you. Very so cool. like Thank you. Was, Thank like you. I just heard Live for the Night on B96. So and not just like, we're not just playing it a, a couple of songs here and there. We're playing them a lot. I mean, like, we play you guys a lot. And it is really cool. We're always very proud to introduce your song because you guys are from Chicago, suburbs of what suburb? Northbrook. We grew up yeah. in Northbrook. Mm -hmm. Northbrook? Yeah. We one actually, person. One person was really excited about Northbrook. Who's, who's from Northbrook? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we yeah, we actually, know. we had uh, Cascade here a couple weeks ago. Oh, cool. And we were talking about how he went to Glenbrook North. Yeah. And then you guys went to Glenbrook North. What the hell are they feeding the kids at Glenbrook North? <laughs> well, he graduated, I think, like 10 years Yeah, before. a little bit earlier. So now you're saying yeah. he's old, too. So yeah. you guys are saying a lot of people are old. Cascade and Styles and Roman are old. Both Corolla old is young. Mind, okay, huh? got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, I mean, there must be something going on in that high school. Was there anything, uh, did you guys have like an EDM choir or something? Yeah, what was it was like on? an amazing yes, there music teacher there? was a class called EDM. A classical EDM? <laughs> <laughs> Intro to EDM. Right, right, They're right. basically nurturing all the vocalists. <laughs> Well, it definitely works out for you guys, huh? Thank you. It's not just you're performing here in Chicago. I mean, you're not even just in the United States. You're worldwide. I mean, yeah. how? I mean, just thinking about that, how badass is that when you look at your passport and you're like, wow, look at all these different places that we've actually performed in. It's pretty cool, right? It is sweet. Uh, we don't get to spend a lot of time in said places, but it's still awesome being able to like meet people from there and see fans from there that you didn't really know you had, mm -hmm. but like halfway across the world and... I don't know, Hong Kong. I don't know we had Yeah, in different in countries Kong. where they don't even speak English, exactly. but yet they're singing right? your song, it's right? It's crazy. That's cool. Yeah. That is awesome. Let's talk about your, your, um, your route, your direction here, because you guys are born and raised here in Chicago, and then you all moved to L.A. When did you guys move to California? And, and give us that story real fast. January. Yeah, January. We sound early. This last one. Yeah, yeah. life is a But blur. before that, we were <laughs> touring a lot, so we just we stored like our mattresses and furniture in our parents' basements. Our dad's basement. so Are these your parents right here? This is our dad. Yeah, here's is this our family, family right here? Yeah, this our dad. family. This is Abu Dadaji, that's our grandfather. <laughs> Nida is our cousin. This is our aunt, Nahid, and Patty. Yeah, your biggest so, fans, yeah. huh? Not How much do you guys miss them a lot when they're on the road? A lot. Very a lot. much. Aww. It's <laughs> yes, he's our one listener. There yes. he is. There he is, well, Mr. Cruella. Thank you. One guy. Isn't that cool? What's that? He's saying we communicate through the radio. That, that is, is very yeah, cool. Yeah, that is very you're cool. singing to him live on the radio. It's awesome. So if you ever can't get a hold of your dad, call our show. Yeah. We'll put you live yeah, on the exactly. radio, and then you can be like communicating to your family. <laughs> That'd be pretty badass. Now, I read somewhere that one of y'all went to UIC for a little bit. Is that true or false? I did. You did. Yes, yeah. We live right by UIC. It's so, it's so cool yeah, to have yeah, different benchmarks. Y'all were from the West Loop? Yeah, we moved to the West Loop um, with Rain Man. Where's Rain Man? Oh, hi. Hey, where were you at? Were you creeping? Where were you? <laughs> he was taking it. <laughs> rain Man was making it rain earlier. He was uh, just making it rain. You how know? many times did you hear that in a day, huh? A lot or what? 15. 15, yeah. It's early, too. It is early, yeah. So, I mean, since you are now joining us, where did the name Rain Man come from? Was it from the movie or what's Look the outside, deal? dude. Look outside. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a weather so phenomenon. Sometimes, you know, you have rain, snows. Go tell the real story. No, I yeah, we want the real story. Um, it, I, I was just doing like a beat battle, you know, like I playing my beats and whatever. Mm -hmm. And one of the judges, I lost, I lost. And one of the judges was like, oh, it's cool. Like, what do you call yourself? I was like, woo, woo, woo. They said, no, you're Rain Man. Because he said you'll have money raining down on you one day. I'm still waiting. <laughs> you still wait for that money? Yeah. I have but like $2 that's, that's in my pocket. My I can, I can, can start making it. Up? Can I have it? Oh, dude. Wait, so if I, odd numbers, I feel it. Really? I just want I wasn't, oh, shit. I wasn't sorry. I wasn't even kidding about the $2. Here it is. Here. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Make it rain. You there you go. Make it rain? Oh, I don't. There's little make girls here. I don't. I've never done this before, just in case anybody's wondering. Don't let them fool you. Last night he made this. 
Thank you. Uh, my first time doing that, I promise, I promise. So wait, wait, hold on a second. That's a text write-off, right? Did, that's did a text I, write-off? Did I mishear you? Was your original name Woo Woo Woo? No. Yeah, no, it was like, that's oh, just what you say. Be like, oh, what's your name? Like, oh, it's not, not, not a relevant part of the story. Okay, Woo gotcha. Woo Woo. Because Woo 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 is one of the worst names like, I've ever heard Like, what's your name? He doesn't want to give woo it woo. away. He doesn't want to give it yeah. away. Don't give it away. Then everyone can search and find his old So how did you guys all become friends? How did the, how did the, the group all get together then? I was born. I know the sisters, but how did Woo Woo get in the group then? How did Rain Man come on in? We met in high school, and uh, Chris was the lead guitarist in a metal band. So I was going to metal shows in high school. Cool. And that's how it, he was programming for his metal bands. He was creating all his like drum uh, sounds and guitar sounds on the computer. So that's how it transitioned into dance music. Very cool. That's so cool. Was it Metallica by chance? The group you're in? Oh uh, yeah. I it was Metallica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him quick. You yeah. made the you made the good first decision name, to quit that group to join right here. Yeah, they're, awesome. they're going nowhere. I don't think they're <laughs> yeah. gonna last. I really yeah. don't. So what is one thing when you guys like when you come back to Chicago besides seeing family? Is there something like food? Is there shopping? Is there a venue that you need to hit up or that you miss? The most about our amazing city of Chicago? We're I'm playing at the mid. Oh, sorry, go. Oh, she's going to talk about going out and that. No, I was going to say the mid, food, which food, is like. Food, the food. I love the party. Chicago. We're playing there on the Monday. The mid, right? Monday. Monday's an yeah, awesome night. We still live too. down the street from the mid, yeah. so it was really cool. We still do. We never left. Yeah. We're, we're still living <laughs> in that same condo down the street. So you guys are excited for the mid on Monday? Yeah. And what was it you were excited food, about, Chicago? Man, Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's, yeah. 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 House beef, you know. Absolutely. Do you work there? No, you don't work there? I love girls who go crazy for food. That's just yeah. that's just an amazing thing. Yes. <laughs> who was? Rod Stewart? John Stewart. Oh. John Stewart. All right, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyways, back to uh, back to something that matters over here on the stage. Uh, uh, <laughs> security, so can we escort you, her out? You, you got the uh, you got the big <laughs> tour and you guys are wrapping it up here in Chicago. And I'm assuming that was planned, right? Yeah, by our management, yeah, well, and okay. booking agency. That guy. Okay, which was that guy right there. Yeah. Very Shout smart. Out. Very yeah. smart, by the way. That was a very smart move. So, I mean, like, was this something like a, a, a date on the calendar y'all had circled for a while? Like, man, we're doing the Aragon, ending the tour here in Chicago. Was that something y'all were looking forward to, the whole tour? Definitely. It's actually crazy because I used to see a lot of my favorite <laughs> bands. We saw Snow Patrol at the Aragon nice. back in 2004 or something like that. And I just have really good memories at this venue. Snow so Patrol hasn't done a show since <laughs> that show at the Aragon. Really? <laughs> really? No, no, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. You listen to us, and you know we joke around about everything. I know. I should but, know you guys. You know, I mean, I would have to say that tonight's going to be your, your best show, not just because it's from in Chicago, but also because your family is probably going to be there. Yeah. It's got to be yeah. pretty amazing to perform with your whole family there. Rayman, are you going to have family there? I will indeed. My yes. sister and my mom are coming. It's got to be cool, right? So I mean, cool. you probably get goosebumps every time you jump on stage, but to have your mom and dad, maybe your cousins, aunts, uncle, whoever, like our singing sisters, along with you, your sisters. Hi. Our, our other sister. Hi, Aisha. Who's, all, who's sister. all going to the show tonight? Anybody here going to the show tonight? Ooh, I'm going. Yeah, I'm, excited. I'm going too. I'm really excited about this. You guys have like this like this amazing like display that y'all had built. I saw a YouTube video about it, and it was so like high tech and so cool. Like, who's was that one of your guys' ideas, or did it, was it brought to you guys? I made like, it in the basement. You made it in the basement. Yes. Like, yes. Really? Run away? No. Okay. No, yeah. no, no, but I'm hard. saying, was that did that come from you guys? Your, well, your back in 2004, that? Snow Patrol did <laughs> they, an amazing they, show, they had that. and they were uh, <laughs> killing it. My <laughs> point is, how hands on are you guys? <laughs> how hands on are you guys for this live show? Was this all like your idea? Was it like all oh, different ideas, and this is the best one? How did that all come together for the show? It was inspired by our Play Hard EP artwork. Okay. And at the time when we released the EP, we didn't have the budget or means to create custom stage production. So um, our management knew that was the vision. So they really helped uh, communicate with V Squared Labs and Stefano Novelli, who's the designer, um, to make this come to life. And it's, it's called good. the volcano. Is that what y'all call it? Volcano. Yes. Yeah. It's like, dude, if you guys, if you guys have not seen the YouTube video, search it. How it was built, how it was put together. It's amazing. I got chills watching it. I can't wait to see it tonight live. Totally. What is the song that really the crowd just goes bananas for? Is it Sides alive? Sides alive. <laughs> Which one? Um, Ring of fire. Ring of fire. Ring of fire. Ring of fire. Our song with Nikki Romero, Legacy, is also a really fun one. We have a song called Enjoy the Ride too. People like once or twice. Yeah. Has anybody like done anything crazy during your performances? Like try to jump on stage or yeah, do they leap them. off the stage? I or? love that stuff. Yeah, but yeah. then security always pulls I them know. away and they kick them out and I feel bad because I'm in the middle of singing but I want to defend them at the same time and they just drag them off. Do you want to stage dive tonight? <laughs> yeah. Right here, right now? Tonight? Wait, right, right, now? right now. This Don't is a very it. sparse crowd. Sparse, yeah. You have to be packed. Your dad looks pretty long. built. He looks like he's getting, <laughs> he's getting a little swole in the gym. He can, he can catch us. We should do it. I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> Abu, will you, will you catch them? Yeah. <laughs> He's down. I think I did my insurance payment this month. That should be good. Hey, work is are, you guys, are you guys fans of any uh, Chi-Town sports teams? You guys, uh, were you guys Cubs or Sox growing up? 
We're from the suburbs, but I like the White Sox. Uh, uh, interview's over. Okay, we we were, we'll talk we to you two no, then. We, we, were, we weren't raised on sports. Okay, Tell okay. Tell them we didn't know anything about sports. You didn't even know sports don't, existed. All right. Don't blame your family but now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's all his fault. Before he was the greatest dad in the world. Now, Dad, why didn't you bring us the baseball <laughs> well, games, man? There is an athlete you guys are cool with, and uh, we take kind of credit at part of this because uh, Jimmy Butler from yeah. the Bulls, we introduced yes. you all the Summer Bash, and you yes, guys are still did. pretty good friends, huh? Yes, yeah. he's awesome. That's pretty cool. Jimmy Butler, y'all know Jimmy Butler, right? He took our family out for dinner, too. He yeah. did? Yeah. He, he did. is the nicest guy in the world, right? He's very sweet. Awesome. And you still didn't let them watch sports. <laughs> 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 He's gonna come tonight in a Butler jersey. You're like, no, I love sports. So you're gonna do a little like acoustic set for us right now. Do you guys do any of that in the uh, performance of your show tonight at the Aragon? Will you do that or? This is we call this Cruella by Day. Okay. And what okay. you'll see tonight is completely different. The energy is different. Um, it's a hybrid live DJ set. So did you guys like for real? We, like we were talking like the insanity on stage. Did you guys like? Is there any training involved in there? Were you guys? I mean, like, cause you're just running around for how long is the show? Like a, an hour and a half almost, or yeah. an hour? Yeah. Like, but you're going crazy the whole time, jumping all over your head's going all over the place, like. After doing it night after night, you get, you build your stamina. And it's funny, because back in the day, like I'd say a few years ago, and this is before we debuted, our, where's Nathan? Where's, oh, Nathan used to make us run around Chris's neighborhood, sing and run at the same time. <laughs> so He's hard. Training. Training us, it was yeah. so hard. So this is before we even debuted, but he was preparing But it's us working out now, right? Yeah, it was so. really hard. We, we hated him. We would just <laughs> yell the whole time. I hate, I hate this. So Chris is your trainer. All right, cool, man. So no whiplash injuries on stage or anything? Sometimes you feel a little, a little yeah. soreness. Because I don't want to brag, but I am a masseuse. Oh, really? So, I mean, after you perform for everybody here, I can, you know. That's a business expense, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Two dollars over there, so we're good. <laughs> it took care of everything, I think. All right, yeah, well, how shit. about this? Enough of our bad jokes. Y'all want to see them perform for a little bit? Chicago's very own, give it up, it's Cruella! Yeah, man! <laughs>